other project and uh, I want to go over some basic knowledge about grounding on the uh, slingshot and most all vehicles. Now the battery uh, back in the back uh, part of the vehicle in a compartment located down there. The negative terminal is connected to the frame and this is what it looks like. You'll want to notice how things are hooked up. This right here is your ground, your negative terminal. Uh, this is where it grounds it to the frame and there is your positive terminal. It's covered with a red cover so that you don't accidentally short that terminal to any of this ground frame. I want to show you how they get the grounds. Uh, let me show you. Right here is side markers and uh, uh, the turn signal and there's a black wire in the center. That black wire is ground you'll find all of the lights have a ground wire and so they run these ground wires through the um, cable loom and they mostly end up at a common point right back here where all these black wires come to and there's a main uh, a main connection right there which goes over to this point which is the engine now uh, this is a place you can get a good ground or actually any bolt that is easy to access on the frame uh, is a adequate ground uh, the only thing is you don't want to clip in to any one of these black leads because you're adding uh, extra current into those leads that wasn't designed for that. So be careful about your ground. Uh, let me show you, for instance, right here, I've grabbed a ground. This goes into the, to the metal part of the frame. And so this is my ground for my little light display. And here's the positive uh, for my light display, which I'm using at first position. Uh, this would be a ground that any bolt that you come to that's easy to grab, those are grounds, anything that bolts into the frame so that you don't have to run a long ground wire back to one central location. So I just wanted you to kind of know that that uh, they use the frame and the engine uh, is all grounded so that is your good ground and uh, right uh, here would be a ground right there is an easy connection over here is a place that I grabbed a ground because it goes into the metal here my fuse block only has positive leads there there are no ground location. Uh, the uh, FZ-1 fuse box uh, has a ground connection and what they do is they run a ground lead all the way back to the battery. Now you can opt for that. Uh, you could run a common lead back to the battery with a heavy gauge wire such as 10 gauge bring it up and get you a ground block and mount it somewhere and let that be your main uh, ground distribution instead of having to go over there you could place it in a convenient location that's central to everything